This video shows V-tube laser using a ferro scan arm to measure an 8mm tube shape. The tube shape bends back on itself with sharper bend angles, making access to the straights more challenging. With careful placement of the scanner, we can measure even constricted tubes like this one. Because this ferro is a 7-axis articulated arm, it's possible to find an orientation where the beam strikes one straight while missing other nearby straights. Next, we will align the measured to the master tube to see how closely the measured tube fits the master center line. This is where we can quickly change the qualification tolerance. Let's decrease the tolerance to 0.25 millimeters in order to show how out of tolerance deviations display on the inspection grid and in the tube model on the viewport. Blue envelopes indicate intolerance. Yellow indicates out of tolerance. Orange shows where the tube pierces through the envelope. Now we'll change the envelope back to 2 millimeters. Notice how the envelope changes back to the color blue and increases to the actual tolerance size. Let's print a report next. This report shows the master centerline coordinates and master bend data. If there's a connection to the bender, we can send correction data through the bender setup menu. 